Welcome back to Jetline Marvel for another thrilling aviation episode. Two cargo planes that look almost similar are now in the race for military aircraft contracts. One is built in Russia, which is Ilyushin Il-276, and the other is Brazilian-built KC-390. Both are in the same category of aircraft with varied features and capacities. In this video, we will explore more about these aircraft. The Ilyushin Il-276 is a medium-lift military transport aircraft that is being developed by the Russian aircraft manufacturer, Ilyushin Aviation Complex. It is intended to replace the aging fleet of Soviet-era Antonov 12 and 26 transport planes and will be capable of carrying up to 20 tons of cargo or up to 90 troops. The Ilyushin 276 is designed to operate in a wide range of conditions, including hot and high-altitude environments, and will feature modern avionics and engines for improved efficiency and reliability. It is expected to have a range of up to 7,500 km and a maximum speed of around 800 km per hour. Development of the Ilyushin 276 began in 2016, and the first flight is expected to take place in 2023, with production beginning in 2025. The aircraft will be marketed both domestically and internationally, and is expected to be used by the Russian military, as well as by other countries in need of a reliable, medium-lift transport plane. The Embraer KC-390 is a medium-sized military transport aircraft developed by the Brazilian aerospace company Embraer. It is designed to perform a variety of missions, including transport and airdrop of troops and cargo, air-to-air -air refueling, search and rescue, medical evacuation, and firefighting. The KC-390 is powered by two international aero engines V2500-E5 turbofan engines and has a maximum takeoff weight of 81,500 kg (179,700 pounds). It can carry up to 26 metric tons of cargo or up to 80 fully equipped troops and has a range of up to 2,730 nautical miles with a full payload. The aircraft has a modern cockpit with advanced avionics and fly-by-wire controls, which enhance safety and reduce pilot workload. It also has a self-defense system, including a radar warning receiver, a missile warning system, and chaff and flare dispensers. The KC-390 made its maiden flight in 2015 and has since entered service with the Brazilian Air Force. It has also been ordered by the Portuguese Air Force and the Hungarian Air Force. The aircraft has been praised for its versatility and cost effectiveness and is expected to compete with other medium-sized military transport aircraft, such as the Lockheed Martin C-130J and the Airbus A400M. Features of Ilyushin 276 and KC-390 Ilyushin has a length of 123 feet and a wingspan of 35.5 meters, whereas the KC-390 has a length of 115 feet and a wingspan of 35.5 meters. Moreover, the KC-390 has a ferry range of up to 8,500 kilometers, whereas the Ilyushin 276 has a range of up to 7,500 kilometers, the Ilyushin 276 is powered by two Aviadvigital PD-14M turbofan engines, which are currently under development. And KC-390 is powered by two international aero engines, V2500-E5 turbofan engines, which is a popular choice for military transport aircraft, as well as commercial airliners, and is known for its high reliability, fuel efficiency, and low maintenance costs. Ilyushin can carry up to 70 to 150 passengers. By enlarging the fuselage while KC-390 depends on the configuration and seating arrangement chosen by the operator. In a typical troop transport configuration, it can carry up to 80 troops. The Ilyushin 276 aircraft is still in development. However, some estimates suggest that the aircraft will have a maximum speed of around 
870 km per hour, and KC-390 is a transport aircraft, it is designed to operate at high speeds and has a speed of 988 km per hour. As can be seen, both aircraft are competing for the Indian Military Aircraft Order deal. Some of the Indian military's aircraft are currently out of date due to the fleet's age and the changing needs for capacity. Please like and share our channel if you enjoy the video. And let us know which aircraft you think will work best for Indian defense.